Hey what's up, in this tutorial we are going to do some formatting of some text. I went to this website, uh, Google Lorem Ipsum, it's a way to generate some some text to put into a web page if you're trying to just put in some filler text. So I went here and copied this and I pasted it inside of a regular HTML document, as you can see. And when you preview that, it has no styling to it whatsoever. And you can see that inside the web page. So this is what it looks like inside the web page. Um, we're going to now add new CSS rules. Actually, first, let's do this. Let's highlight each paragraph here. And let's use um, inside our insert here, inside our insert tab up here at the top, we are going to wrap that in a paragraph tags. So we're going to do that for each paragraph. First, second, and third. Over here, refresh our CSS. And now we're going to add a new CSS rule. I'm going to call it P1 text, which stands for a paragraph one text. And we're going to say it's in this document. We're not going to make it an external style sheet right now. We're going to leave it internal. Say OK. And now we're going to give it some properties. For this tutorial, we're just going to change the type. So let's select one there and apply. Say OK. And now let's create another one. Go through the same thing. Instead of P1 text, say P2 text for paragraph 2. Say OK and change it to something different. Apply and OK. Go back here and let's add one more CSS rule. We'll call this one P3 text. OK. One more. Let's see. Times New Roman. All right. Apply. Now that we have our internal style sheet here, we have P1 text, P2 text, and P3 text. So let's click inside of our first paragraph tag for our first paragraph and let's give it this class. And for the second paragraph we'll give it this class. And for the third we will give it this class. Now as you can see each paragraph has different text and we did that all within CSS. You can see that right here what it's called. Oops, sorry. And we can also add a lot of other styling to each individual paragraph. Now we can go over here inside of our CSS selectors and we can, let's change the font size. Make it a little larger. You can see that it got a little bit larger. Let's make it a little bit bigger than that. There we go. We can also change the font weight to all these different options. We'll leave that blank for now. Font style, normal, italic. Oblique, let's say oblique. And let's also change the color. Alright, let's apply. As you can see, it, it did all of that for just a little bit of coding, which we didn't even do ourselves. All we had to do was select these different options inside the CSS, CSS rule definition. So I'm going to run this now. We see what it looks like before with no style at all. And let's save it and reload this page. And now you can see that it's all been changed for CSS. Uh, in the next tutorial, we'll be going over a little bit more with what you can do uh, with CSS. Um, we were just working with uh, some simple type changing here and. Uh, Make sure you keep watching and subscribe to our feed. Alright, thanks.